Hey everyone, Skull902 here, and since it's my 27th birthday on the day that this video is being uploaded, I figured that we could, you know, continue the channel tradition of uh, some Let's Play content for the occasion. Uh, this is my Let's Play of McDonald's Treasureland Adventure for the Sega Genesis, uh, a fun little platformer uh, released in 1993 for the system. Uh, I'll be getting more into uh, my thoughts later on. Uh, but yeah, you know, a, a bit of an odd choice, uh, you know, some random licensed game, but uh, again, I will explain my reasons. Uh, so, uh, as we can see right now, I'm going through the options and uh, configuring my controls, but uh, one thing that I want to point out is uh, I did my practice run of the game with Rabbit and Josh uh, watching, uh, and it was, it was only Josh and I at the beginning. And... When it was just him and I, he really fucking grilled me about playing on beginner mode. Uh, you know, Power Rangers Time Force last time, that also had a pretty insulting name for the uh, easy mode. And, and so does this game, so I, I don't know what it is with my 2021 Let's Plays and, you know, insultingly named difficulty modes, but here we are. But uh, Josh, <laughs> Josh would uh, not stop for a little bit. Uh, about fucking beginner mode, and uh, y you know what I have to say to that, Josh? I fucking suck at video games, alright? I I've never hidden that fact, you know, even after I edited around Power Rangers Time Force uh, so that it, it didn't show me selecting the difficulty, I still made a joke that very clearly painted what I selected. So, you know, I, I, I haven't hidden anything throughout my time as a Let's Player. And you know what else I have to say to that? You know, you, you make fun of me for playing on beginner mode here, but you, sir, raged at Sonic Generations. You know who else raged at Sonic Generations? Dark Side Phil. That's right. Dark Side fucking Phil. So shut your goddamn mouth, Josh. But, uh, yeah, aside from that rant, uh, how does the game work? Uh, we've been seeing uh, Ronald McDonald going around here for a little bit, uh, and... Uh, basically, you know, again, this is a platformer, uh, and you, you've got some uh, means of attack, like, uh, you know, this isn't a, a hop and bop platformer, you can't defeat enemies by jumping on them, but you can defeat enemies by using Ronald's magic, uh, or sparkles, or whatever the official terminology uh, is called. But he'll uh, shoot these magic sparkles with his hands, uh, and that's how you take out enemies. Uh, and he also has uh, this uh, scarf. Uh, which hopefully comes from his pocket. You know, I, I believe that he's a respectable clown. Like, you know, it, it's coming from his pocket, you know. I, I'd certainly hope it's not, like, from his mouth or even worse up his ass. But, you know, uh, he, he has a scarf and uh, that'll help him uh, grab onto hooks and stuff. Uh, for when you can't quite reach a particular platform or uh, when you need to uh, wait out for some platforming opportunities uh, that'll be happening like later on. Uh, I'm in the shop right now just showing off the uh, prices of the various items that you can get. And uh, you know th this is a, a pretty useful way of uh, showing off the items in the game as well. You know y you've got uh, these jewels here and uh, the magic jewels are uh, Ronald's health bar. You can see it under the word beginner. Fuck you Josh. Uh, but, uh, Ronald can carry up to, uh, seven, uh, of the magic jewels in beginner mode. I, I think that, uh, in higher difficulty modes, uh, his health is lowered. But you can carry up to seven of them in beginner, uh, at least. And, again, they, uh, they act as, as your health. Enemies will, uh, drop, you know, jewels or other various items. Other ones that are uh, helpful to uh, the health uh, situation uh, are the flowers. Uh, and you can see those in the HUD as well. Uh, white flowers, if you get three of them, uh, they're worth a magic jewel. Uh, and one will appear in your inventory. And uh, that's uh, two for yellow uh, flowers. So, uh, you see, I got hit there, but I didn't uh, lose any magic jewels because it was like, oh, okay, but he had two yellow ones. So, uh, that's, that's how that works. In order to increase your max health, I think you have to get, like, uh, Magic Jewel, uh, power-ups there. In fact, that is how that works, I just saw it. Uh, 
but you'll be able to max out your uh, your health bar, you know, fairly quickly in this game, uh, especially if you're playing on the fucking beginner mode like I am. It's not a particularly hard game at all. But it is a fun one, and I'm, I'm glad I'm showing it off here. Uh, so, now that I've uh, sort of explained, like, how the game works uh, and, you know, various things, uh, there, there are some other power-ups too, but I'll, I'll explain them uh, when I get to them. In fact, I think I just got one, actually. Uh, so, Ronald's attack can be increased by the uh, Sparkle power-up, which is nice. I, I've never really noticed it. Uh, too much, but apparently it, it is there, and uh, one of the things actually I can be thankful about uh, playing on uh, beginner mode here for is uh, like if if I were on the higher difficulties, uh, Ronald would lose the benefits of the sparkle power up uh, when he gets hit, uh, but on beginner mode that's that's not a thing. So uh, yeah, you know, you know sometimes. There are some benefits to uh, to playing on lower difficulties, especially if you suck ass at video games like I do. Uh, again, I, I'm I'm not hiding that from anyone. I I fucking suck. But anyway, uh, you've been seeing Ronald collect uh like money bags as well uh, throughout this, and uh, those are golds, uh, your currency, of course, uh, and that's what'll help you. Uh, get items and, and stuff in the store. It's generally a good idea if you, if you go to the store to uh, uh, pick up lives uh, if you can. And in fact, I'm gonna do that uh, later. <laughs> uh, because I, I don't have quite enough. But, you know, lives, uh, jewels, whatever you need, uh, it, it can all be found in the store. So, that's that's very nice uh, to have a a thing like that. There are more doors in uh, the game uh, that will lead to uh, like a, a a mini game, and it's basically like Tetris. And I, I don't know if there's like a time limit uh, or whatever, but y you'll see later in this part that uh, the the game just kind of stops even though the uh, uh, the board isn't really filled up. But the way that uh, McDonald's Tetris in this game works is, uh, like, if you uh, match up a line of the same item three times, then that item goes into your inventory. Uh, so you, pl uh, you pay 2,000 golds to uh, play the game, and uh, then that's, that's how you uh, can, can get some items. Uh, again, I... I swear that there's like a time limit because I, otherwise I don't know how the game stops aside from of course uh, you know filling up the board but that's like I didn't do that so in fact we're uh, about to enter it right now uh, so you, you can you can see it in action but uh, that's uh, all the power-ups how they work uh, at least for now uh, again I will uh, mention relevant ones uh, when the time occurs but yeah, that's that's a basic explanation of uh, almost everything. There there are also uh, golden arches here, like you can see in the icon. Those are continues. Uh, you won't really be needing much uh, in the way of continues unless if you suck worse than I do. But uh, that's uh, that that's how that works as well. So yeah. But now I want to get into uh, the setting. Of the game because uh, you know you know that 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 can that can be an interesting conversation right there. Basically, Ronald McDonald is going around here. Uh, you know, uh, we saw in the opening cutscene he's looking for uh, the pieces of a treasure map so that he can find uh, said treasure. You know, the the, the whole uh, name of the game here is uh, finding that treasure. It's treasure Land Adventure, after all. So. Uh, what he's going to do is be uh, going through the levels and facing bosses and stuff, and they have uh, the other pieces of the map. Uh, so uh, we we, we got to beat three bosses, uh, and then they're gonna they're gonna show us how exactly to uh, get to the treasure that we seek, uh, which is which is nice. Uh, but aside from that. Uh, 
you know, <laughs> I'm I'm pretty fucking old, you know, in in terms of like uh, what KN calls internet age. You know, I'm, I'm 27 uh, on the day that this part comes out. 26 as I'm recording, uh, and uh, some of you guys might not be aware. Uh, because my audience does kind of skew a little younger than I am. Uh, so, like, you guys might not even know, uh, what McDonaldland is, or depending on, uh, you know, if, if you guys are, like, extremely younger, uh, than I am, uh, some of you, uh, might only barely be familiar with Ronald McDonald himself, like, at all. Uh, so... It might be fun to talk about McDonald Land for a little bit, but uh, it's it's based on a ad campaign called McDonald Land, uh, and that was the setting for the commercials as well, uh, that ran between 1971 and 2003, featuring uh, our our lovable clown mascot Ronald McDonald, uh, as well as various other characters, uh, such as like Mayor McCheese and Officer Big Mac, who were uh, representative of. Uh, the cheeseburgers uh, and Big Macs uh, on the menu, you know, as the, as the names can, uh, you know, imply there. But uh, there was also, like, the Professor, who we'll see later in this game, uh, Captain Crook, who uh, we will see, but only in the, like, after credits screen, because instead of, uh, instead of making an image for it, they just kind of used a promotional image. But, like, Mayor McCheese and uh, Officer Big Mac were, like, abandoned characters, uh, I, I should also point out. Along with, like, the Professor, for the most part, and Captain Crook, uh, like, they were barely used uh, after, like, a, a soft reset to the ad campaign. And that was the result of a lawsuit, uh, which I can get into in uh, later uh, parts. But, again, like, the characters all represented, like, a, a part of the McDonald's menu. Uh, so Captain Crook, for instance, he, he represented the, uh, fillet uh, fish. But as far as ones that are, like, more relevant to the era, uh, that this game came out, and ones that'll be featured in this game, uh, in this part we rescue the Hamburglar, uh, who, you know, he likes stealing his cheeseburgers, uh, because he's, a uh, fucking degenerate. Uh, he's... Uh, very incoherent, like, he, he doesn't really speak full-on sentences. And, and he likes stealing uh, cheeseburgers. So, fuck that guy. Uh, <laughs> he's an asshole. Uh, in uh, the next world, uh, and the next part, uh, we'll be saving uh, Birdie the Early Bird, who is a representative of the uh, breakfast menu. Uh, she came around a little later. And honestly, I'm I'm kind of surprised that they that they had a character to represent breakfast because like, you know, I I swear like no kids ever eat McDonald's breakfast. Like when I when I was a kid, McDonald's breakfast was a rarity. You know, uh, but kind of kind of weird in that way. And, you know, let's just let's just say that I I've never heard of a breakfast happy meal from McDonald's. <laughs> you know. But, uh, she's there as well. Birdie the early bird. And then, uh, in the third part, uh, we're gonna be saving Grimace. Uh, who started off evil. But eventually became, you know, an, an affable, uh, lovable, goofy dumbass. Uh, who represents the, uh, the, like, shakes and sodas, the drink options, uh, at McDonald's. In fact, when he was introduced, uh, his, his whole gimmick was, uh, stealing people's drinks, uh, and, and whatnot. Uh, but, again, he, uh, became good. So, uh, yeah. That, that's, that's wonderful. Uh, we're gonna be running into the Hamburglar, actually, uh, right now. Uh, just drop down into this area. This is skippable, uh, but I, I did want to show all the, uh, characters off. Hamburglar, blah. Hamburglar is gonna explain how the bosses work, uh, so you can read that there if you don't want to hear me talk about it later on. Uh, but... Just wanted to mention briefly, uh, in the fourth part, in the finale of this LP, we're going to be rescuing the, uh, Fry Kids, who were introduced as, like, the Fly... F Damn it. <laughs> I made that mistake in my original recording, too. The Fry Goblins. And then they became, like, uh, the Fry Guys, 
but then female ones were introduced later on, so they became the Fry Kids. They're like pom-pom looking motherfuckers. Uh, and I, I don't think that they speak uh, coherent sentences either. It's been forever since I've seen any of the commercials, of course. And then they, they also had uh, companions that were based on chicken nuggets, uh, but those will not be seen in the game. Uh, but yeah, th those, those are all the, the characters uh, in the uh, McDonald's, uh, you know, McDonald Land uh, advertisements, at least uh, that are relevant or somewhat relevant uh, to the game. Uh, there are others that I'm missing, but uh, you know, I'll explain that later on. Here's the boss. Uh, Mr. Pumpkin uh, is our first boss here, and the way the boss fights work is um, that the boss will summon enemies, uh, and uh, this is such a fucking unique mechanic, too. They'll, like, shoot out a beam uh, and suck up uh, your magic jewels, so you actually have to sacrifice your health in order to be able to hit them at all. So while they're eating uh, the jewels, they're, like, distracted and they have their uh, defenses down. And again, I think that, like, that is so fucking unique and cool. Uh, but uh, the the reason why they summon the enemies is because they'll uh, drop health items. Uh, like that one uh, dropped a, a yellow flower there. So you'll never be, uh, you know, at risk uh, of dying if you play your cards right. Uh, and generally, they don't take too many hits at all. So you, you can see right there, I'm already done with uh, this boss fight. So... Uh, you know, just a, a very unique idea uh, that I, I think is uh, quite lovely, uh, to be perfectly honest. You know, it's a, it's a very uh, original way of uh, handling boss fights. Uh, and just, you know, it, it's one of the things that really makes this game, uh, in my opinion. This is a, a fun little platformer, and uh, again, uh, I'll be explaining more of my reasons why as we go further into... Uh, this LP here so uh, yeah uh, with that said that'll just about do it here for uh, part one uh, in part two we'll be going through the magical town and uh, seeing what this auto scroller train is all about but until then I've been Skull902 thank you for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day